Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is Valentine's Day, and I thought, what better day to tackle the Cupid's Butter Sandwich from Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties of 1909. But here's the thing. It calls for angel food cake, and um, I went to four stores around me. None of them sell it, so I'm going to have to make it. And I know, I know, this is not how they would have made it in 1909, but I got things to do. We sift together flour, cornstarch, and sugar. Sif, 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 sif. And then into egg whites, we add vanilla, vinegar, and salt. We whip for 30 seconds on medium. Then we start adding in sugar on high until soft peaks. Then we fold in our flour mixture, put it into a loaf pan that is not prepared in any way because you want it to stick, believe it or not. Then into a 350 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Not too shabby. Okay, so now I have to invert it on these cans and let it rest upside down for one hour. Okay, to make the filling for the Cupid's Butter Sandwich, we start off with creamed butter, to which we add egg yolk that has been pushed through a sieve. 1909. What is your obsession with sieved egg yolks? Now we add in orange juice, some orange zest, does not say how much, and powdered sugar. And here's the uh, angel food cake that I made earlier. Christine told me it was very hard to make and that I should go buy a lottery ticket if it turns out. Guess I'm buying a lottery ticket because it turned out. Now we cut thin slices of angel food cake. And then we put our orange butter onto one slice. Since this kind of has a consistency of cake icing, I'm going to go ahead and, or frosting, depending on where you're from, I'm going to use this little spreader thingy. Okay, let's give this Cupid's butter sandwich a go. Really bright orange flavor from both the juice and the rind. A little bit of sweetness from the sugar. And the egg yolk just sort of brought richness to the butter, but I don't really taste egg at all. This is quite lovely. Clearly this is a dessert sandwich or maybe with tea or something like that. I do think there's one thing I want to add to try and plus it up. I'm going to shave some dark chocolate with almonds onto it. Okay, let's give this plussed up Cupid's butter sandwich a go. Okay, so now we've got dark chocolate almonds, orange, and butter. This is fantastic. And the little bit of vanilla with the, uh, in the angel food cake is just, this is great. All right, so the original Cupid's butter sandwich, uh, that was tasty all on its own. I'm gonna give that an eight as a dessert sandwich. Tasty, or tea sandwich even. Um, adding in the dark chocolate uh, with almonds shaved onto it, I'm gonna bump that up to a nine. That is tasty. I am definitely gonna finish it. I got plenty of angel food cake left over, so you can bet I'll make it again. <laughs> Maybe not for lunch though. All right, see you tomorrow. So now we have dark chocolate, almonds, orange, butter. And a neighbor with the leaf blower. <laughs>